Hey there bros, welcome to our channel. There are many existential questions that great minds have not been able to answer yet. What's the meaning of life? Are we alone in the universe? What would it take to make the world a better place? We may not have the answers to this quite yet. Instead, we'll try to answer more down-to-earth questions like What is financial education? And what is the impact of financial literacy on your daily life? Why is it important to start learning about this from an early age? Why investing in yourself can lead you on the path to financial independence? All of this and more in today's video. And stay till the very end to learn more about our first ever giveaway that will put you on the right path. So, what is financial education? Truth be told, financial decisions are seen as a complex matter, a kind of dark room where blindfolded people fumble. This pessimistic outlook on finances goes hand in hand with a deep distrust of other financial opportunities. Regarding financial knowledge, plenty of people only remain at the stage of purchasing things in cash. That is all they know and accept. But the rise of online shopping using mostly credit cards, mainly among the younger generation, has changed the way consumers behave, making it much easier to overspend and get into financial problems. Once a year, FINRA evaluates financial abilities by comparing consumers' answers regarding topics such as diversification, bond prices or inflation. It is proven that only 34% of Americans are able to provide the correct answers to this set of questions. In other words, more and more citizens neglect the basic financial principles which lead to debt and inappropriate financial decisions. The shortage of financial education, also known as financial literacy, causes misunderstanding of common things such as the system of checking accounts, the usage of credit cards, and even affects retirement investment plans. Briefly, financial education provides you a positive mindset in terms of managing your funds and the proper tools for understanding economic basics. If you are dealing with a lack of financial knowledge, it is imperative that you complete your financial education as soon as possible. What is the impact of financial literacy on your daily life? Firstly, financial literacy consists of a set of skills and knowledge that leads you to smart and well-informed decisions regarding your financial resources. The more you know about financial principles, the better you organize your household budget. Second, gaining financial literacy may allow you to purchase a comfortable home for your family, balance your budget, and even increase your monthly income. Furthermore, Financial literacy is regarded as the key to comprehending various economic topics such as inflation, rate of economic growth, GDP, and so on. You may be unable to deal with daily challenges such as medical credit, mortgage or credit card debt, retirement savings, and so on if you don't have a firm grasp on finances. A well-informed person understands how to avoid financial risks and pitfalls. The Federal Financial Literacy and Education Commission, established by Congress in 2003, provided a profile of a well-informed customer in terms of finances. Consider the following knowledge you should gain and actions you should take during your financial journey. Be aware of your monthly income, including your withheld taxes and expenses. Create an emergency fund and save money for your investments or other personal purposes. Choose the best insurance you can find and protect your money from fraud. Borrow money at the lowest interest rate and create reliable credit repayment habits. Keep yourself informed and choose the best retirement plan. Supervise your budget and know how to cut back on expenses when it's needed. Keep an eye on your credit report and prevent possible errors. Do you want to apply for credit? Then you must focus on your credit score. This is the first things lenders look at in order to determine if they are willing to work with you or not. Your credit score also has a great impact on landlords who decide if you qualify for renting a house or an apartment. A stainless credit score is a sign of your reliability. Here's what you should know about improving your credit score. Pay bills on time. Sounds simple, and of course, it's easier said than done, but it's the best way to start getting your payment history back on track. 
Set up your budget to ensure you have the money necessary to pay your bills on time. It might mean some sacrifices, but it's better to give up a few things now rather than ruin your credit for a lifetime. Stay on top of missed payments. The older a credit problem, the less it counts towards your credit score. So the longer you pay your bills on time, even after having late payments, the more potential for your FICO score to increase. Contact your creditors to see if they can help you in any way, like lowering your interest rate so you can pay off your debt faster. You can also meet with a credit counseling service who might be able to assist you with properly budgeting your money and consolidating your debt. All of these things can potentially help you improve your credit history. A high utilization rate is a sign that you may be experiencing financial difficulty and is a strong indicator of lending risk. As a result, high utilization hurts credit scores and can cause lenders to be reluctant to extend additional credit. If you have a high balance to limit ratio on one card, having a low overall utilization rate can significantly offset that negative aspect. That is why we advise against closing unused credit cards if your credit scores are low, as doing so may increase your total utilization ratio. The lower your utilization ratio, the better your credit scores. The credit mix reflected in your credit reports is an important contributor to your credit score because it tells lenders how well you can judge multiple credit accounts. That said, Credit mix only holds as much weight in your credit score as the new credit aspect of your credit history, so 10% of your FICO score. So while a good credit mix can give your credit score a slight boost or even help you achieve a score deemed excellent, a lackluster credit mix won't have a sizable negative impact on your score. Hard inquiries have a negative impact on your credit score, at least in the short term. While a hard inquiry will stay on your credit report for two years, it will usually only impact your credit only for a few months. Too many hard inquiries in a short time could make it look like you're seeking loans and credit cards that you may not be able to pay back. Negative information such as bad payment habits or bankruptcy affects your credit score and lenders will perceive you as a risk factor. Check your credit score regularly and keep an eye on your finances. Your credit report provides with information about your repayment consistency and helps you to figure out what type of loan best fits you. Why is financial education important from an early age? Financial education is one of the most effective skills you need in a real-world scenario. Unfortunately, the school curriculum ignores this fact completely. In addition, a lot of families are skeptical about things like growing money, investing wisely, or running a business. The lack of minimal knowledge leads to bankruptcy, a decrease in income, poor investment plans, or savings account too hard to deal with. These day-to-day -day challenges require government involvement. In the meantime, one should follow the popular urge, be the change you want to see in the world. Inform yourself and change your attitude towards money into a proactive one. Afterwards, encourage your children and help them build financial literacy. It is advisable to start this process as soon as possible. Kids are fast learners and their entrepreneurial spirit can be easily molded. Besides, there is a consistent number of books that train your children to think outside of the box. One of these books is The Lemonade War by Jacqueline Davis. It's a vivid work with children's literature that depicts sibling rivalry in terms of business. Who will run smarter lemonade stands during the summer holiday? The story is full of marketing tips, funny ads, and business terms explained in a friendly manner. Here are four steps for building financial literacy. First of all, start with a balance sheet of your daily expenses. It's the most effective way to track them and save money easily. Keep an eye on your spending habits in a wise manner. Use an online budgeting app like the one linked in the description below. You can try the budgeting worksheet provided by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Distinguish between good and bad debt. There is a solid case to be made that no debt is good debt, but borrowing money and taking on debt is the only way many people can afford to purchase big ticket items like homes and cars. While some loans are usually justifiable and bring value to the person taking on the debt, 
there is another end of the spectrum that involves taking on debt through careless spending on credit cards. While it's easy to differentiate between these two extremes, determining whether or not debt is good or bad, more often than not, it involves a deeper analysis of specific circumstances. Even if it sounds impossible, good debt does exist. Good debt is exemplified in the old saying, it takes money to make money. If the debt you take on helps you generate income and increase your net worth, that can be considered positive. For instance, a mortgage is a good one because the value of the property increases as the amount of debt decreases. On the other side, bad debt continues to increase as the value of a certain item decreases. An appropriate example is a car loan. Discuss with a financial advisor. Do you feel the need to speak with a certified counselor about your financial situation? It's a good start that will boost your confidence as well as help you better understand your financial situation. Financial advisor counsels you on how to multiply your money, increase your income and select profitable retirement plans. Read and listen to podcasts. As in many other fields, studying is the key to success. Fortunately, there is plenty of free content on the internet providing you financial basics. Most of them communicate the relevant information in a friendly and well-documented manner. So remember, in order to gain a solid grasp of finances, you don't have to follow a finance degree program. Invest in yourself and discover the path to financial independence. Financial advisors often say, think rich. The statement is worthy and represents a war declaration against the conventional attitude and ideas linked to money. It's true that a lot of people have negative point of view about investments and growing money. This attitude is visible in the school curriculum and in our families too. For instance, school as an institution provides us a suitable background for earning money, but does not teach us how to manage money wisely. On the other hand, the reluctant attitude seen inside the families urges us to remain blocked in our comfort zone. Actually, one of the biggest problems you should deal with is boosting your confidence and self-esteem. Build your financial freedom step by step. Before investing money in a potential business, the first thing you should do is to invest in yourself. In other words, read a lot and train your brain. This is how to boost your confidence. Once you understand the financial trends, you should be able to invest wisely or run your business profitably. Remember that most financial advisors consider that you cannot get rich if you work for someone else. A good place to start building your financial education is in the library of books you can find in the description below. Start with these recommendations and gradually build your financial competence. Financial literacy improves your life. It will help you handle your money wisely whether you choose to be a financial professional or just a consumer. Remember, it is never too late to start your journey into financial education. And now for our giveaway. We want to help you as much as possible. That is why we are giving away five free courses that will help you begin your journey towards financial education. Check out the link in the description below and enter the competition. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and hit the notification button for more content.